Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my what I bought in February slash March haul. Um, and normally I would film this in parts, but I'm actually doing this all in one go because I received my US address items yesterday, which was the, no, no, yes, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, which was the Tuesday, the 4th of April. Um, technically it arrived on Monday, but I missed the delivery, so I had to go and pick it up, um, which was very good because the original estimate was that it was going to arrive next week. So I'm very happy that it came a week early. And then today, which is the 6th of um, April, I just received the other order, which um, is a foil order from Happy Sticker Designs, which um, I sent to my address in Australia because she is based in Germany. So yeah, um, we'll see how we go with this haul and sort of like talking, talking through it all like in one go, I guess. Um, I do have some notes written to the side because I did try to film this haul on Tuesday when I received my um, like US address stuff and it was just a mess. So I ended up deleting it because I was talking for like too long and then my camera ran out of battery like right at the end and I don't know, it was a bit of a mess. So yeah. So I'm just going to go sort of like in order, um, like so separate shops and then um, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go in order um, and I do have some notes, so I'm just going to follow that. Um, so first order we have here is from Lexi Kylie Designs, um, who I purchased from her Etsy store. Um, but yeah, I have purchased from her before. I do purchase um, her journaling kits because I use them as basically my monthly spreads um, because I'm in a happy planner and it's a little hard to find like a uh, happy planner specific monthly spreads. So I thought this was a nice way to do that. So I did pick up two themes this time. So I picked up the Daisy and the Honey um, themes. So Daisy will be my March spread, um, which I will probably do off camera, um, probably sometime over the weekend. Um, and then April's I will hopefully film. Um, but yeah, so it did come with this freebie, which is really cute, um, just on the like transparent paper. It did also come with this like tulip clip and then also a little thank you card which does have a code on the back so I'm not going to show the back um but yes and then with these um journaling kits they are like a la carte so there's two separate pages that you order so I order both um pages so there's the uh journaling and deco page which is this page and then the days and papers which have like the days of the week and the torn paper so you'll see that um and she does also have the option for transparent paper but I always get the premium matte um, so yeah, so first we have the Daisy, um, kit, I guess. So we've got, this is the, um, journaling deco page and then this is the days and papers. So that's what it's listed as in her shop. So yeah, I really, really like this. Um, and I have made my own stickers to go with it. So I like, um, use the little circles as a color reference, um, which it's not the perfect match because the computer screen like does alter the colors a little bit, but um, yeah, so I make like some icons to go with it, some labels, build juice, that kind of thing. And then I also pull in from my um, like icon collection and whatnot. So um, you'll see my March spread when I do my quarter one flip through. Um, and then obviously, like I said, I will try to film April's. So yeah, so these um, pages are, when I purchased them were $7.46 Australian each. Um, so yeah, because I ordered on Etsy, I can pay in Australian dollars. So yeah, obviously it'll differ depending on where you're located and like the conversion rate and everything. Um, but yes, and then this is the honey set. Um, so yeah, I love this one as well. And I just love like the purples and the yellows. And um, even though it's like, I guess, spring themed, the colors also can kind of lean autumnal as well. So that's why I thought this was perfect for April. Um, yeah, and like I said, these were also seven forty six Australian each. Um, that's the regular sort of retail price um, when I paid. But I did purchase during her Valentine's Day sale, so I ordered on the twelfth of February. Um, I got twenty percent off, so I saved five dollars ninety seven Australian. So my total was twenty three eighty seven before shipping. Uh, this shipped the twenty fourth of February and arrived the first of March. So yeah, 
Um, so that is my order from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, I believe she's on vacation at the moment, but when she reopens, I will have a look to see what else she's got because I need to order my like May and June um, kits because I like to order two months at a time if I can. All right, so then next I have a new to me shop, which is Lina Designs. I'm just going to get this all situated. I'll zoom in in a second, but I just want to show you the journaling card. So it did come with this journaling card. So you've got the two skin tones. And it did also come with a little thank you note that does have a code on it, so I don't want to share that. And then I will quickly just zoom this in a little bit so that you can see better. Um, but yes, I did use Carly's um, PR code. So Carly Plans is on her PR team. Um, so I did get that. So I got 15% off with Carly's code. And then this is her freebie, which is really, really cute. Um, and then this was the February freebie. So just some icons in some really nice like greens, which is nice. Um, and then I did get the 35 plus freebie, which is a script freebie in just um, black on clear paper. Um, so that is really nice. So I just ordered one thing from Lina Designs, um, but I am hoping to reorder from her because I want to order her like she's the man um, kit. And I'm also considering getting the Princess Diaries kit as like a Mother's Day thing, but I don't know yet. Um, but anyways, this is the Teddy Bread um, art from Kitness Jess. So I did get the deco add-on. Um, so this was $5 Australian regular retail. Um, obviously I saved a bit of money um, with Carly's code, but yes. And this is on Glossy. Um, I believe she has like a premium matte vinyl option as well. Um, so there is that. And then this is the kit, which I ordered in the mini format. Um, and I'm thinking maybe next time I might order the ultimate kit just because it does come with weekly sidebars. Um, but I'm not too sure yet. So these are the full boxes, which are stunning. And I originally wasn't going to order this kit, um, like this art. And then I was just having a look at it and I thought it would be like a really nice autumn kit. Um, and I also just loved the little phone case because I actually have that phone case in a different color, um, which was what I had on my old iPhone because I recently upgraded. But yeah, I have like this phone case in like a sort of like yellowy beigey color instead. Um, so I just thought that was cute. So these are the full boxes. We have the... Uh, date covers and bottom washi and then there's an extra full box the uh, pattern boxes the solid boxes glitter headers and then some like little things sort of labels and some more boxes and then we have the habit trackers the date not date covers the habit trackers the deco and then some layering pieces as well so yeah this kit doesn't come with um weekly sidebars that's the only thing that it doesn't come with so that's fine I will pull um probably from my reusable stick book see if I can find anything that matches um and if not maybe I'll just pull like some checklists or something for the sidebar because I really only track my dinners in the sidebar so it's not that big of a deal but um yeah just something to think about so the kit itself was 26 Australian dollars regular retail um but like I said I did have a PR code that I used so I saved $4.65 together and then my total was 33.35 Australian um just because even though she's like on Etsy a lot of Etsy stores now you can do it like based on your location so even though it's a US shop um the charges and everything will show up in your local currency um so that's why I can tell you what this is in Australian dollars um if you go on her website and you don't choose your location I think you could probably auto choose US dollars as well um to see what it normally is in her local currency but yeah so that is my order from Lina Designs, which I'm really excited about using. Um, and then to go with that, like I said, I ordered some foil from Happy Sticker Designs, um, which arrived today. So it did come with this aerial journaling card. And then on the back, it's just got like her information, um, which is really nice. And then um, her orders always come with pen tests. So I think one is glossy and one is matte, which is really nice. I have ordered from her before, but a very long time ago when she was on Etsy and it wasn't foil, it was just like a, just a regular weekly kit. So this is my first time trying her foil, but I know um, I've seen like Emma K Plans haul her foil and like a few other people use her stuff. So I 
that's why I decided to pick it up. I think Kinnish Girl Jess also ordered foil from her before, so um, yes. But here is the freebie, um, which is just a little quote box that says April showers bring May flowers, which obviously doesn't make sense where I live, but that is fine. Um, and this is in like a silver glitter, like hollow kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it, um, but it is really cute. So yeah, that is that. And then I ordered the teddy bear foil bundle. So she does have two foil options in her shop. She has a foil bundle, which is as the name suggests, a full bundle um, with underlays and all. And then she has the happy pack, which is I think just two sheets, which just has the box overlays and then the headers and bottom washi. Um, so like two pages, but um, not everything that she has in a foil bundle is in a happy pack and vice versa. Um, I think like they're both very separate things in her shop. So um, if you like a design in one thing, you probably won't be able to find it in the other, if that makes sense. So that is why I picked this up. Um, but yeah, I thought this was super cute. Um, Lina Designs also had like a particular foil bundle that she had designed to go with the kit. Um, but I wanted to try it Happy Sticker Designs and I did see this in the shop. So I just thought this was perfect. So um, these are the full box overlays and then you do also have some foiled deco down the bottom. Um, so this is in light gold. So that is really nice. And then we have the headers, the bottom washi, and then an extra full box and the like um, sidebar headers. And then, like I said, this does come with two pages of underlays. So I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. Like part of me kind of wants to do it just to give it a go um, because I've never actually used like underlays and especially in this kit where they're like fundalays. Um, so I may give it a go for this spread. Um, we will see. Maybe I'll just do like one set of underlays and then like just one set um, of just plain like paper, if that makes sense. Um, and then just keep the other set. But this does come with the underlays and then does also come with some more headers or like a washi, I guess you could use them as. And then this is the other page with another design of headers. So that is the bundle itself. And then I did get the um, foil add-on, which she just introduced in the shop. Um, so this is the scripts number one. There are a few options. There's some with circle icons and then there's different scripts um, options. And then I think there's one that's like literally just scripts in like a mini sheet. Um, but I did get this option, which is scripts one. So you've got the date covers, the whole protectors, and then you've got a bunch of scripts. So you've got work, um, in my feelings, appointment, happy mail with my love, cleaning time, like a lot of planning ones, um, TikTok binge, YouTube binge, YouTube binge, which I love. Coffee Monday, yeah, just a ton of um, scripts. And I love that she also just has some like emotion ones in there as well. So she's got like pillow cry, sad bitch, <laughs> depressed, um, tight AF. Yeah, just really fun scripts. So that is my order from Happy Sticker Designs. Um, I did have my eye on another, I think it was a foil bundle from her shop or like a thing from her shop, but um, it was a Black Friday exclusive and she had she has just taken it down. Um, so um, I don't know. I might reach out to Emma and see if she can bring it back because it was something I was going to pick up to go with a specific kit, but we'll see. And if not, um, I will definitely find another opportunity to order from her. Um, so the foil bundle itself was, um, yeah, the foil bundle itself was 13 euros and then the add-on was three euros 50. Um, so my total before shipping was 16 50 euros. Um, because like I said, she's based in Germany. Um, I ordered this on the 24th of February. This shipped the 17th of March and arrived today, which is the 6th of April. Um, so yeah, so that is to go with the Teddy Bread Kit. And then next I have my order from Apple Blossom Prints. Let me just grab the foil that's going with it. All right. So this is my order from Apple Blossom Prints, which is another sort of first time order. Um, I forget who hauled her kits, um, but I have seen her kits hauled in like a few different hauls and I thought I would check out her site and I saw that she had this art, which was the Sadie Piper um, Easter art. And I was kind of eyeing it between a few shops, um, but I, ultimately I decided to pick it up from her because of the price and also because I wanted to try it out and also the fact that she has basically like a whole extra page of boxes for free with the kit. Um, so I thought that was um, a very good selling point. So first we have the freebies. So we have the February freebie with some green icons and then the 
$15 plus freebie again with some more icons. Um, I know she's doing color of the week sheets. I think she's just starting that. So something to keep an eye on as well. Um, so I did get the icon add-on, which was um, $1.46 US. Super cute. And then this is the kit itself. So this is the Risen Weekly Kit um, in Glossy. Um, this was $17.21 US, um, which is very affordable for um, a glossy sticker kit of this size. So yes, um, so this, like I said, was the Sadie Piper Designs um, Easter art, which she did release in two colorways. And unfortunately, no shops used the muted colorway, which would have been perfect for um, Easter in Australia because it's autumn and it's going to rain apparently. But anyways, um, so I ended up going with this art anyways, because I really love this art. And I didn't really like any of the other Easter art that was out. So um, yeah, so here are the full boxes. Or should I say the first set of full boxes? And then we've got some more boxes, flags, um, habit tracker, movie marquees, and a glitter headers, which these are like the chunky like sequin style, which is really nice. Then we have some deco, um, your weekly sidebar, some checklists, and the weekend banner. And then you've got the little things sized um, labels. Then we've got these sort of more like rounded fun labels and squared off boxes. Uh, then we've got the plain sort of blah, 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 plain boxes and then the patterned boxes. And then we've got the bottom washi and have not have a trackers, bottom washi and date covers and an extra box. And then you've got the um, extra page of four boxes. So you've got a scene, you've got um, the fashion girls and then just some more elements, which is really nice. Um, and Apple Possum Blossom Prince does this for pretty much every kit she has in her shop um, that comes with like extra boxes, which is really nice. And then there's also like add-ons as well available in the shop. Um, so like icons, um, alternate skin tones for the different fashion girls, 15 millimeter washi. Um, if you wanted one that's different to the ones that are in the kit. Yeah, ton of options. Um, and I believe she also does like icons and other um, functional things as well. So not just kits, but that is the kit itself. Um, so yeah, my total for this order before shipping was 1867 US. Um, this shipped on the 3rd of March and arrived the 6th of March to my US address. So that is the kit. And then to go with the kit, I have some gorgeous foil from Planet Pixie Co. So first I have my two freebies because these were technically two separate orders. Um, so yeah, this was the February freebie in the sort of green glitter, which I do have some green glitter foil to show. Um, and then let me try to rotate this all. So then, like I said, I have two separate orders because I personally messed up when I was ordering this. But um, first we have the Easter quote boxes in Lavender Hollow because I thought Lavender Hollow would go perfectly with the colors in the kit. Um, these sort of like bright pastels, shall we say. Um, so these are the quote boxes. And then we do have the um, sort of like patterned overlay as well. So um, I did use one of her foil like overlay kind of things um, in December, January for like my New Year's week. And I did this sort of format where I get one sheet of the quotes, one sheet of the patterns, um, and then because the kit that I'm using has enough boxes, I can sort of use them all without it um, overwhelming the like boxes, if that makes sense. So those sheets were $4.99 Australian each. I did have a 15% off code, which was the one that like Etsy gives you when you purchase from a shop. And then this was the bottom washi overlay as well to go with that. Um, so yeah, so with that order, this is one order, like I said, um, this I saved $2.24 Australian and my total was $12.73 um, Australian. This shipped uh, the 7th of March and arrived to my US address the 9th of March. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I did get a 15% off from Etsy. Um, so that is that. And then I did place a second order literally the day after because I realized I forgot to get the headers to go with this kit. Well, not this kit, the... Um, the foil that I had chosen um, because I, for whatever reason, I just, it didn't click in my head that these were the headers that went with it. Um, but then I had a look at her like pixie pack that she had um, for this theme. And I saw that these were the headers in that. So I realized that this sheet was the headers because um, Randy does do like her pixie packs, which are her four bundles, but then she does also sell pretty much the same elements 
as like a la carte sheets if you don't want to pick up the pixie pack. So these were the headers. And then I saw that she had some date covers in her shop as well. So I placed um, an order for these as well to go with the kit. So again, in Lavender Hollow. Um, so obviously the exchange rate had changed. So then these two sheets were $5.04 each. And I didn't have a coupon this time. Um, so these two sheets along with um, another sheet that is in the next part of this, like a later part of this haul, um, shipped the 14th of March and arrived the 18th of March. So that is the foil to go with my Easter kit, which is very exciting. Um, and then next we have Caress Press. So again, I'll move the foil to the side. All right. So next we have Caress Press, which this is the first of two Caress Press um, orders that I have in this haul. So this is the Pixie Grove art, which is my St. Patrick's Week uh, spread. Um, so yes, I'm very excited to plan this. Um, so I did get the 15 millimeter overlay, not overlay, 15 millimeter, 15 mean, oh my God, I can't speak. 15 millimeter washi add-on. Um, so this one was like a, is this a plaid um, sort of pattern, which is really nice. And they do get the little extra box. And then this is the kit itself, which I always try to pick up her kits in the essentials format and on the premium matte paper. So um, this is the like deco and sort of layering sheet. And this art is Sadie Piper Designs again. Um, this was, I don't know if she specifically made this for St. Patrick's, but um, it was sort of one of the few kits that was around that I thought would be good for that theme. Cause yeah, not a lot of shops did St. Patrick's Day art, which was interesting. Um, Oh yeah, and this was released in two different colorways, but I did get this colorway, which is sort of the more muted um, colors. Uh, so then here are the full boxes. And then for this kit, um, Maggie did some extra boxes as well. So you do have basically have two sheets again of um, full boxes, which is really nice. And then there were also the Fashion Girl add-ons, but I um, chose not to use any Fashion Girls in this spread. And then we've got the um, sort of boxes page with your sidebar headers as well. And then the patterned boxes page. And then we've got the glitter headers and um, little things sort of page, the sidebar and sort of functionals. And then the washi and date covers that also has an extra full box and an extra label. So that is the kit from Caress Press and the add-on. Um, this is all out of order, but that's fine. I will fix it in a second. Um, so yeah, so the kit itself was twenty three seventy five US, and then the add on was a dollar US. Um, so my total was twenty four seventy five, and this shipped on the first of March and arrived the third of March, and I ordered this on the twenty fifth of February. And then to go with this again, I have some foil from Planner Pixie Co. Um, so this I actually placed before I, like I ordered before I actually ordered the kit because I knew that I was going to use the art, but again, I just wasn't sure like where I was going to purchase it from. Um, and then I ended up going with Caress Press. What am I doing? I'm trying to rearrange this. So again, um, this is all one order and then the date covers were in the same order as the other date covers and the um, butterfly headers. So this was my freebie for this order. Um, so we've got a little quote and then some headers in gold. Oops, there we go, in gold. Um, and then for this, theme, I decided to go with green glitter, which I think will actually contrast really nicely with the sort of like more muted tones of the kit. Um, it'll sort of brighten it up, which this definitely goes with like the other colorway better, I would say, but I think it'll still work. Um, but yeah, so we've got the um, quote overlays as well. So again, with the quote overlays, really cute so we've got lucky charm pinch me happy go lucky and shenanigans which i love that and then we've got the like sort of shamrock pattern um so there is that then we've got the shamrock headers which how cute are they and then the star of the show in my opinion the bottom washi so we've got all the different sort of like elements and then we've also got like the shamrock um sort of like yeah sprinkle confetti I was trying to think of the word. There you go. So there is that. So that is the foil. 
Um, so like I said, this was all one order that I placed on the 12th of February. I also had a 15% off from Etsy um, from my previous order because yeah, it's like a, um, like a Etsy marketing thing. So like when you buy from a shop, they have the option to send you like a code for your next order to sort of like encourage you to shop from them again. Um, I would know because I used to have that in my shop and you can also do it for like um, if someone favorites an item or like leave something in their cart, Etsy will send the um, customer like a code, a coupon code. Um, so yeah, so I got the 15% off from that. Um, these sheets were $4.90 Australian each, um, but obviously with the code I saved $2.94. So my total was $16.66 Australian. This shipped the 21st of February and arrived the 24th. So this is one of like the first things that arrived to my box. Um, and then, like I said, I did get the date covers in a separate order. Um, so these were $5.04. Because um, like I said, I ordered them probably like a week and a half later. Um, so yeah, and this shipped the 14th of March and arrived the 18th of March. So the same time as the other date covers the date dots and um, butterfly headers. So that is everything for that. Um, yeah, that's like all the regular sort of orders, I guess. And then the next Crest Press order is for a mystery kit, um, which I am not subscribed to her mystery kits, but I do, um, watch a lot of people's like mystery unboxings and that kind of thing. Um, and I saw this theme and I really liked it. So I knew that I had to pick it up from the overstock when, um, it went up and yeah, I actually bought this while I was at work because um, I was going on Instagram during my break and Emma K Plans had posted that these were live because I think she was going to purchase this as well, possibly, or she was, I don't know if she's subscribed, but anyways, um, regardless, she posted the overstock was um, live, so I went ahead and bought it, um, but silly me because I was rushing and on my phone forgot to get the 15 millimeter washi. So um, I have made, like designed some myself using the color that was on the listing photo. Um, and at the same time, like I can make some to go with some other kits um, and some of my subscriptions that don't come with washi. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna stop this because I don't know where my camera's gonna cut me off. So I'm just gonna stop this and then continue um, before my camera cuts me off. So yeah, so this is the March mystery for 2023, which is a Western theme. Um, this is called Free People, which I believe is reference to the clothing store. I could be wrong, um, but this is also Sadie Piper Designs art. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do really, really like her art. So um, yeah, she is killing it with the art. This is custom, um, but yeah. So we did get this extra sheet, which just has the like ranch scene and then some flat lays in different skin tones. We've got the light and the dark, and then the one in the kit is the medium tone. And then, um, like I said, I do always get Caress Press kits in essentials and in the premium matte, which is also part of the reason why I like rushed to buy this because the essentials, I feel like tends to be the format that sells out the fastest with the mystery overstocks. I have missed a few in the past um, because they've been a bit slow. So yes, um, but yes, so we've got the same um, sort of like deco and uh, like layering page. These are the full boxes, which I just love this fringe jacket. I actually have a fringe bag, um, so like, yeah, I also love like the little Smeg um, coffee maker, I believe is what that is, which is really cute. Um, and just like the different fashion elements and this like um, like house scene, which I think is supposed to be like the barn or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, really cute. And then here are the, here is the um, labels page with the sidebar headers. So I just love the colors in this kit and just thought it was perfect for autumn. Um, with like the browns and like the nude and like also this kind of like sagey green. Um, so these are the labels. And then we have the pattern labels and I love this paisley print. I do also have a paisley skirt in sort of like a similar color. Um, so there is that. So we've got the pattern labels. Then we've got the glitter and little things page, the um, functionals and sidebar and there's an extra little food box there and then the bottom washi page with the um, extra box and extra label. So yeah, I'm not really sure which boxes I'm going to use just yet because um, there are quite a few to choose from, but that is really nice. I definitely think I'm going to use the two scenes because the last time that I used Cress Press, which was in January, I used the Cabana kit, which had two scenes. Um, so I did like one as my sidebar and then one in the spread. Um, but yeah, so this was the, where am I? The mystery kit, which was $23.75 US. Um, so same price as her like 
in shop kits um, which I placed this order on the 10th of March and I do have one other thing that I purchased at the same time which goes with it which is the matching foil bundle. So this is the Howdy foil bundle. Um, this is in antique gold is what she says on her website. Um, and I did originally order the mini so I do have the pricing for the mini but um, I will show you that I do have two extra sheets. Um, so I accidentally got sent the full um, so I don't know if maybe I got someone else's order or if it was just um, like a packing mix up. I'm not too sure, um, but either way. Um, so yes, we do have the foil bundle. So we've got the full boxes, which are super cute. And then we've got the um, sort of like extra full boxes, the tall box, and then the headers, the scripts and icons page, and then the bottom washi, um, the deco, date covers, hall protectors, and the sidebar sort of headers. Um, and then like I said, so that is technically the mini. And then like I said, I got sent the two underlay pages, which would make this the full kit. Um, so again, I might test out using the underlays for the Teddy Brent kit. And then because I'm using this kit in May, I might have a better idea of how I want to use this. Um, or maybe I will just leave the underlays and just um, do this as planned. I'm not really entirely sure yet. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the kit itself was $23.75 USD and then the mini foil bundle is $7.25. Um, not too sure how much the full is. I can't remember if, if it's like around $9, $9 US or like, I believe it's between nine and maybe like 11 US, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this was the um, mini foil bundle, which I believe was on like a discount um, because she has been doing that with her foil bundles. Um, so. Yeah, I believe that was like the sale price for this, even though like there technically wasn't a sale, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so this, the total for this order was 31 US. This shipped the 15th of March and arrived the 20th of March. All right, so that is everything for yeah regular orders. And then next we go into two um, different subscriptions that I have. So I have the Sugar Pop Fizz um, Mystery Mailer and I do have the Honeybee Shop Bait Box. And I have both February and March for both, um, just because of how this ended up working out. So um, yes, so the Sugar Pop Fizz Mysteries come in a um, mailer, and then inside the mailer, they come in a, oh my God, I almost said brown, a black envelope, and then inside this, like, I believe it's glassine um, paper bag kind of thing. So apologies for the crinkling, but it was just easier to store them this way. So first we have the February subscription which I get the kit plus the header add-on. Um, there is also a deco boxes, like decorative, like doodle box um, add-on. So you can get like the kit and the box, extra boxes, the kit and the headers, or you can get the kit, the headers and the boxes. But I just chose to get the headers. So these are the like confetti foil headers and this kit is in rose gold. Um, and then with her subscription, you get, I believe it's five sheets of foil, um, three sheets of like, layering sort of things and then the four page kit plus an extra so um this is the clear foil so we've got some honeycombs and um like yeah i was gonna say florals but yeah like leaves i guess um branches and then some florals and then we've got the flowers you always get a set of date dots that coordinate with the foil which is really nice um we've got some more sort of like floral layering pieces these bouquet sort of things, um, the hand holding the flowers and like, I guess it's like a fern maybe. I don't know. I don't know technical terms. And then we have the butterflies, which is really cute. And then here are the like three layering pages. So we've got your shapes, um, flags, and there's washi strips. Then we've got these swatches and um, scalloped circles. And then these sort of like um, layering shapes, stamps, and sort of like quarter, like arch boxes, which are really pretty. And then this was the extra this month um, for the month of February. So this is just like a little journaling page that matches the kit. And then this is the kit itself, which I have upside down. Um, so we do always get either like an extra full page of boxes or you'll get um, just the extra little half sheet, which will usually have alternate skin tones and some extra boxes, just depending on how much art um, is available for Mallory to use. So um, for this one, you've just got the extra little mini sheet with some more boxes and then the girl in a light skin tone and then these are the four boxes in the kit really really cute 
Um, so I'm going to be using this in August just because my brain associates yellow and green with August thanks to being in an Erin Quandren um, and those being the colors. And then also just like by that time, I'll be sick of using winter winter kits. So this is kind of like a nice transition into like spring and whatnot. So those were the full boxes. And then you have your um, date covers and bottom washi. So you get two different patterns, which is really nice. Then we've got your boxes and sort of sidebar page. And there's also some page flags and some checklists. And then the other boxes page with the deco. So yes, um, I have used one of her mystery kits before. I used the November one in February for my dad's birthday week, which was very exciting. So yeah, I'm super excited to use this later in the year. Um, but yeah, so that is the February um, kit, which this sh this was ordered on, well, yeah, it builds on the 12th of the month and ships the 20th of the month, um, which for me technically is like the 21st, but whatever, due to time zones. But anyways, um, and the, what am I trying to say? The subscription with the headers included is 28 USD plus the shipping um, on top of that. So yes. So that is February's kit. And then we have March, which Mallory just um, previewed on her YouTube. So I won't be sneaking anything this time. Um, but yeah, because originally when I filmed this haul the other day, she hadn't released the sneak. So that was like my first time sort of seeing what it looked like and everything. Um, but yeah, so here we have the foil um, headers, which I love these colors. I'm going to be using this kit in July, I think. Um, so this is in hollow, which is stunning. Then we've got the um, five foil pages. So this is kind of similar to the November kit with this sort of like retro theme, but at the same time, it's different. Um, so I do like that. So we've got the like hearts, peace signs, and the sort of yin yang. Um, we've got the lava lamps and the, um, what is this called? Ring pop? Yeah. Then we've got these sort of like headers. Um, so these are like a... Um, what is this called? Checkered pattern, yes. Then we've got the cassettes, which yes, I am old enough to remember what cassettes look like. I remember using them to like tape um, the radio, like the songs off the radio and you'd get like the ads and like the um, announcers like cutting in like at the last five seconds of the song or whatever it would be. Yeah, anyways. Um, then we've got the date covers, um, some music notes, and then we've got these really cute flowers um, with the smiley face. So then the extra for this one was the doodle sort of boxes, um, which is the same freebie that we had in the January subscription, um, just in a different colorway. So that is really nice and sort of gives you a taste of what you would get if you were to get the um, doodle box add-on. And then these are the foiled sheets, um, like the layering sheets. We've got the shapes and um, flags and washi, the um, layering page, and then these swatches and scallop circles. Sorry, my brain is shutting down now because I think I've been talking for so long. So then these are the four boxes. So again, you've got another half sheet of the extra skin tones and then two extra boxes. Um, and then these, these are the four boxes, which I love these. They're really, really pretty. And I love this kind of like um, tealy blue color with the like lime green and the dark blue and the hot pink. I think it just all works really well together and I wish my bedroom looked like this but yeah it's kind of like I feel like it's kind of a play on like the retro theme but then also like I guess the current resurgence of like retro as a trend um if that makes sense like I hope that makes sense but yes then we've got the date covers the washi the bottom washi your um labels and sidebar and then the labels and deco so same format, um, which Mallory just sneaked the April kit, which is like a desert Western theme. Um, so I'm going to save the April kit for probably November, I think is where I've put it in my lineup. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the nice thing about having subscriptions from um, American shops is that because you guys are technically like two seasons ahead, um, if you think about it, because we're like opposite seasons, um, I can have kits for, you know, month in advance. So yeah, so that is the March subscription, um, which this shipped the 
uh, 21st of March and arrived the 24th of March. So yeah, that is, that's my two um, monthly subscriptions from Sugar Pop Fizz. And then I have my two babe boxes from the Honeybee Shop. So I have them both in their um, little folders that they come in. I don't think this is gonna focus, but yeah, they come in these little clear like document wallets, which I am using the one I got from January to store like my tax um, receipts and stuff so that when I go to do my taxes later in the year, I have everything that I need. Um, so here is the January box. Not January, yeah, no, February box. Sorry, my brain is not working. This is the February box, which was um, Planner Friends themed um, because Shan was going to go wild. So this was kind of like in reference to that. And she did get a guest um, artist to do the art for this kit with so um, a different style. But yes, so her kits always come with a 10 page sticker book, a washi roll and a pack of die cards. And then you'll get um, a stationery related extra each month. So for this month was a um, B6 sticker folder, like a plastic sticker folder that you can sort of put like um, different sheets or whatever for your pre-planning or like if you're going away, um, whatever it may be. So you've got your two little pockets there and then two pockets on the side, um, which this item was part of the reason why this order was delayed because um, Shan was going to ship them pretty much straight after she got back from Go Wild, which I believe was like early March. Um, and she had let everyone know that that, would have, that, that was the case. Um, and then, yeah, I think these um, stick books were late in the shipment. So this order didn't end up shipping until closer to mid-March. Um, but yeah, so that is the little extra for the month, like the stationary extra. And then this is the washi, which is unfoiled. Um, and this is like a really cute floral pattern. Um, so yes, um, and because these kits only come with this like little washi tape and not like a full blown like like washi, like I don't know how to explain it, like a sticker washi, if you know what I mean. Um, I have decided that I'm going to make 15 millimeter washi to go with these kits and then maybe buy some foil overlays um, like in bows or stars or hearts or whatever it may be to match. Because um, originally when I used the January one, I used a glitter tape, um, but yeah, obviously they come in limited colors. Um, so I don't know, thought that might be a nice touch. So then here are the die cards, which I will quickly take out if I can. Um, but these are stickers. So you can use them to like decorate your planner, decorate notebooks, um, planner setups, whatever it may be. So we've got some washi tape. We've got the, um, sort of like hand holding the planner in different skin tones. We've got uh, dark, medium, and light skin. We've got the little llama for like the go wild reference. And then we do have the girl with like the stickers and yeah, which I love the design of this girl. I think she's really cool. So there is that. Um, and then these subscriptions also come with the digital version. Um, so you've got the like papers, the um, clip art elements and then you do also get like basically what's in the sticker book but in digital form so if you want to use it in a digital planner you can do that um so here is the sticker book so we've got the little girl on the front and then here is the um, full boxes so this is in hollow foil um so we've got some full boxes here and then some more on this page so normally you get um three of the same box in the different skin tones and then some extra boxes thrown in um, but this one is pretty much all fashion girl heavy. Then we have this page with the um, swatches and some layering bits and also a little bit of washi and some checklists. The boxes page, the date cover um, and headers page, and there's also some sidebar elements. Then we have the icons, which are really, really cute. Um, and then we've got the date covers, the sidebar headers, and then some more layering sort of pieces. Then we have the Hobonichi sort of page, um, which this is sort of made for Hobonichi wigs, um, which you will see in the Feb, no, this is February. You'll see in the March subscription that this page is changed for something else, which I don't know if that will be the case going forward or not, because um, I know the April kit um, has the same format as this box, as this stick book is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, like I said, I've been filming for too long, so I think I'm just fumbling over my words now. Um, but yeah, this is the Hobonichi page. It's got some washi, a little extra box, um, headers, date covers um, checklist and then the little big um, planner cart. Then we've got the deco page and then you do get a little journaling um, kit page as well. 
So yeah, this is in removable matte paper um, if you wanted to know. So you can use any pen and it's pretty easy to like peel off if you were to place things in the wrong spot, which I definitely did when I used the January kit. Um, so that was the February Bay Box, which like I said, shipped the 14th of March and arrived the 17th of March um, and it billed the 2nd of February because um, there was an issue with like the billing system. So it did bill a day later. Um, but yeah, these kits normally bill on the 1st of the month and then usually ship around the 20th because I believe that's when she closes the signups. Um, but yeah, like I said, there just was an exception for that one. And then next we have the March theme, which was Homebody. So this one, like I said, has the regular three items that you get. And then the extra for this month was um, a fountain pen. So my mama has already put the ink in it because um, she used to use fountain pens when she was a kid. So she's very knowledgeable when it comes to this because I have no idea how to use one of these. Um, but it did come with the little converter as well if you wanted to like um, use your own inks. And then it did come with a black ink refill cartridge sort of thing. So this is the extra which is nice, um, something different, I think. And then we do have the washi, which I was struggling to take this, um, to open this when I did, originally did this haul. So I did open this off camera, but this is really cute. So you've got like the tombos, the little record player and the daisies and then the little um, sparkles. So really, really cute in like a grid, um, on like a grid background. And then here are the um, die cuts which these ones are foiled, which is really pretty. So the foil for this kit was light gold or soft gold, I guess is what Shan calls it. Um, so we've got this one that says Lazy Daisy. We've got this one with the daisies and the tombos, super cute. Then we've got Be Kind. And then we've got the girls. So those are the um, die cuts. And then here is the kit itself, which I'm going to be using this one in April. I think I forgot to mention, but I'm going to use the February one in September just because I think the purples, again, my brain just associates purples with um, September. So yeah, I'm going to use this one in April just because I think it goes with the sort of like autumn theme, especially with like this mustard and like the, um, yeah, like the teals and, you know, muted tones. So here are the full boxes. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, usually it is the same box in a few different skin tones and then a couple of other elements thrown in. And then we've got the other set, which I do love this record player box. Then we've got this page, um, which has a new format. So um, there's like some squares and circles and um, the shapes are a little different, um, but they're still also washy. Then we've got the boxes and then we've got this headers page, which again has also sort of changed. Um, so you've got your to-dos, but I feel like they look a little different. And then instead of foiled headers, we have these grid headers. Then the icons page. Then the um, date covers, like date dots and sidebar page. And then this is the page that I said has changed. So instead of a Hobonichi um, kit in this um, sticker book, you have a like B6 monthly um, kit because Shan does sell like a B6 um, planner. So... Yeah, I thought that was a nice change. Um, and I could definitely use this like in my spread, um, sort of like as layering boxes or whatever it may be. Um, and like this as like extra washi strips possibly. Um, but yeah, and then maybe if at any chance these colors match with like what I've picked for my monthly spreads, I could also pull these into my own monthly. So I feel like um, the yellow and purple kind of go with the honey theme that I have for April from Lexi Kelly Designs. So again, anything left over, I might pull into my monthly. And then here we've got the deco, which is stunning. And then the um, journaling page. So yes, that is um, the, I keep on saying to April, the March Bay box, um, which the April theme is uh, like a peach theme. So I'm very excited for that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, these subscriptions are $25 USD and then shipping on top of that, um, which um, this does get sent priority, which is really nice. So that's why it takes like three days to get to my US address. Um, but yeah, and like I said, they bill the first of the month um, and then usually ship um, around the 20th. So yeah, that is everything for this haul. Um, I have just started ordering things for like upcoming months. So I will have 
uh, like what I bought, what I bought in April, and then depending on how much I buy this month, it may be extended to like what I buy in May. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that is it for um, this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, all the shops will be listed down below along with any codes. Um, stay tuned for videos using all of these items. I'm very excited. Um, and as always, if you have any shop recommendations, do leave them down below and I will check them out. Um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.